Master Attempt 250 was getting, when I turned the unit on, I got an EO1 on the unit. An EO1 is a thermal, a thermistor open, and an EO2 is a thermistor short. The thermistor is the very top one. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because this is a residential uh, Pent Air 250. Um, in this aspect, it's in a commercial setting. This is kind of my world every day. Uh, so, I'm just kind of, they got it on our heater here, or on our spa, I'm sorry. So, I got that, right? The EO1. Replaced the thermostat. Reset the unit, turned it on. So the EO1, when I turned it on, it would say it would try to. This would flash, and it would it wouldn't stay on. When this is lit and on, it's heating. When it's blinking, it's calling for heat. So it kept blinking. So I re I, I replaced the thermistor, which is right there. I reset the power, turned it back on. The EO1 went away. The heat light. Blink, 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 nothing. I smelt a little gas out of the fan. The service heater light came on. So then I reached down here and I started looking at the ICM, which is, oops, sorry, which is the ignition control module. Now the ignition control module started blinking flame, flame ignition lockout. Now a flame ignition lockout could be, could be a couple different things. Could be your igniter. Now your flame igniter, let's see if I can get a uh, light. Your flame igniter, is right there where the two screws are at. You can kind of see right where this wire goes, this harness goes down, those two little bolts. I'm not putting the light right on it, so it's not. But that that little bolt and that one in the back there is the, the igniter. If you unplug it here, you can check for resist or ohms. Um, just future two, that's a the flow switch right there. And this is a gas pressure switch. So if it doesn't sense pressure in the manifold, it will not ignite the, it won't open the game, the gas valve. So what I did was I came over here, I checked my igniter, it was bad. Um, Future reference when you put a new one in don't touch this the, the oils from your hand and make it corrode Just it'll go bad when you put it in try to touch just the ceramic when you check it you can put it on ohms You can check it from your thing. This typically had a, a Wire on it or an end, but I cut it off Typically I cut it off because I needed I wanted to use that little jumper, but anyways Check it here If it's not within 500 uh Owns is bad. Mine was in the 30s, which is bad. So the next, oh look at that, I just barely threw it up there in the crack. So the next thing was the thermistor. The thermistor is originally the EO1 is what was the problem. It was EO1. This was the problem. When I fixed it, it gave me no error code but a, an ignition, a flame ignition lockout, which the flame ignition lockout ended up being the ICM module. So I checked the flame, there's a, uh, a, um, a, a, a uh, flame sensor, I checked the flame sensor and there is the igniter. So if that's, if that's good, your flame sensor is good, then it's your ICM, which mine in my case ended up being the ICM because I replaced this, I checked my flame sensor and it ended up being this. Now this worked. It came on, it ignited, and everything went about its business, but it wouldn't it wouldn't ignite. The, the fan came on, everything worked, all that. Um, and then it threw this ignition lockout, which it, I hate this because ignition lockout could mean a lot of different things. Um, in this aspect, this heater hadn't been serviced in six years, so I went ahead and did the high limit switch, the thermistor, the ignition control module, which is this, and then the thermal regulator, which was this. Now this thermal regulator goes goes in the bottom down here right here it gets it slides in there and then this cap screws into it it's just a little radiator looking thing it opens and closes when it meets temp 
Um, to replace that, I would turn the unit off, relieve pressure from the valve, open this up, use a little uh, silicone on it, no Teflon, no nothing like that. Um, I replaced that. Now the, there is a, a bypass valve, which I haven't done yet. Manifold bypass valve. Now that goes right in between here and here. Now, I'm waiting on the gasket that goes right there. You can see it. So I would have to unscrew this, this. There's another one down there. There's there, 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 and up here. And then this whole manifold to come off and that piece is right behind here. Um, the whole point of the video was I was pissed because Pentair didn't give you no diagnostic codes. When I literally put that new thermistor in, it didn't give me anything. The even the ignition control module light didn't come on for when it was when this was blinking and calling for heat. There was nothing wrong with the ICM. When this thing stopped and it went into the service heat is when that ignition control flame started blinking. Um, even at that aspect, it still doesn't tell you what's wrong with it. Um, you still have to go in and, and check your flame and your igniter and yada 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 yada. It just gives you a ballpark of where it's at. So more than likely, ignition lockout. If you haven't placed this in, I'd say three years, four years, replace this. 200 bucks, this is pretty much the brain of the unit. Um, it tells everything, all the relays and the switches and the high limits and the thermals and the pressure regulator, yada, 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 everything that works. Um, so yeah, please uh, comment. If you have any questions, I can help you guys out. I've worked on the pit there. I've worked on a bunch of the heaters. This is a, a particular 5,000 BTU heater, um, which not too long ago I had the ignition control module on that guy go out and I had the flame sensor go out so it's a it's a particular part that goes out on these things this one just in particular because it's a residential unit is to why I was doing the video um, there's not a whole lot of uh, commercial aspects where they put these residential units um, in this particular case my heater or my spa is small so I think that's what they use it for um, it's only a 250 BTUs. Um, that's ultimately what it means. There, there's a Pentair 400, and there's a Pentair uh, 250, which is a Master Temp 250. The 400's a Master Temp 400. It's just the BTU on it. 2,500 BTU to 400 BTU. Now that one's a 5,000 BTU, so the difference is just the heating quality and efficiency and how fast and how much volume of water and yada 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 so um yeah if, if you haven't so i was able to jump this switch out with just a jumper that's where this whole wire came into effect when i cut it i just jumped these on the actual unit from the wire coming off the unit i jumped those this you cannot jump you have to that's a resistance it's done by resistance so if you do need to jump that out or do anything with it you can put a resistance i think i used a 3.5k resistor and it actually got the unit to to do away with the eo1 um, the ignition control module there's nothing you, you just have to buy this it's 200 and something dollars so that was that was my problem let me know what you guys think